I want to show you how the Zongda double speed or two speed hub motor works. This is a hub motor from my folding bike. It's a front motor. You can see that's the direction of rotation there. It's laced into a 20 inch rim. Now it opens very simply. Very easy for me now because this is already loose. By rotating off the right hand side plate. And then that the core of the motor just drops out. Now if you look inside the hub, it's empty. There's no ring gear or anything. It's just a, a shell. So here is the insides of the hub. Now you can see over here on the right is the stator. That's got the 18 windings and around the outside is the outrunner with its permanent magnets inside the drum. Now you can see that when the motor rotates this direction this plate drives the wheel forward. But when the motor rotates the other direction, this plate still drives the motor forward, but faster. How it does that, I'll show you by looking at the other side. And when we take the side plate off, we can see the inner workings. Now when this drum rotates, when the motor's turned on, see there's a little steel sun gear in the very middle that's driven directly by the drum. It drives these three nylon planet gears and those planet gears are directly connected to these steel planet gears on the other side of this fixed plate. This plate is fixed. It doesn't freewheel like in a single speed motor. Now whichever way the drum rotates, these steel sun gears will rotate the opposite direction. And you can see they were all they're always driving the nylon sun gear in the secondary gearbox. Whichever way they go, they're always driving that. They're also, whichever way they're turning, they drive this nylon ring gear on the outside. When the motor rotates one direction, it's low speed. When it rotates the other direction, it's high speed. Now the way it does high speed is very simple really. The nylon sun gear in the secondary gearbox, and here the spare one, fits in to that socket in the middle of the side plate. There we go. So here's the sun, sun gear in the secondary gearbox in its place. Now it's sitting there in a freewheel. When it rotates one direction, it just freewheels. When it rotates the other direction, it grips and turns the side plate. Now the ring gear works the same way. When it rotates this direction, it freewheels. When it rotates this direction, it grips and turns the side plate. So, whichever direction the motor is running, it will turn the, the wheel one way or another. An interesting thing is that allows the, the motor to freewheel is that when this one's engaged, the outside one freewheels both ways. Inside you can see the three little roller clutches held pushed against that inner surface by a spring. So they're the ones that 
slide back that way to freewheel and when they go down that way they grip.